Okay, so hi guys and welcome back. In this video we take a look at three popular DOI FPV micro quadcopters in order to see how they perform. What we got here is the EA Shine H8W Mini, the FQ777 FQ11 and last but not least the Chearson uh, CX10WD. Uh, we focus on the FPV aspect of them for this video, since we already know that for regular flying these can perform pretty nice. What all of them have in common is that the live video is transmitted digitally over 2.4 GHz to your mobile phone where you can see it in a special app. That means there is a noticeable latency which will not allow to fly them fast. It also means that due to the digital video, the video signal will not degrade gracefully, as we know from analog FPV, but it might actually freeze, which is pretty much catastrophic when you need to rely on it. So much for the basics. Let's check what we have here and see how they perform. We start with the FQ11. As you can see, it comes in a nice box with QR links to download the Android or iPhone app, which is needed for FPV. The copter can be transported within the transmitter, which also supports charging the small copter through four AAA batteries, which you need to provide yourself. It comes with a nice manual showing the basic operation. The copter itself has foldable arms, which makes it even smaller than it already is for transportation. The LiPo is built in, although uh, one can see that it is a normal uh, LiPo cell, probably 50 or 100 milliamperes. Here you can see it with the arms unfolded. Here you can see the tiny camera in front. After charging it up through the transmitter, let's go and fly it. Camera angle is ok, looking straight to the front. First it even works pretty nice, uh, latency is there, but it is pretty much flyable. But only a few meters away the video signal already starts freezing, which makes it unflyable. So next we try it outdoors to minimize any interferences. This works better, but we are also getting frequent freezes, which makes this otherwise nice toy copter pretty unflyable just through FPV. Next one is the EA Shine H8W Mini. I have much hope for this one since I loved its non FPV brother, the regular H8 Mini, which flew great and which we even modified for analog FPV. But back to this one. It comes in a nice box and the manual is again showing basic instructions. It comes with spare props, landing gear, prop guards. Very nice. The toy radio looks nice, however the camera is angled downwards to start with, which is somewhat questionable since you will only see the ground probably when you FPV it. Even more so if you tilt the copter to fly forward. But we will see how that works. It's a nice copter otherwise. If you wanted, you could even swap the battery on this one, as you can see, that's nice. So let's go flying. As assumed, camera angle is not optimal. As you can see, when it sits on the ground, you can really only see the ground. That is not great. Unfortunately, it does not get better when you fly it. You can still only see the ground, which makes it almost impossible to orient yourself. The video also sometimes freezes, not as bad as the FQ11, but still very noticeable. So let's try it outside. 
but again the same problem because of the camera tilt you have no way to orient yourself so this is pretty much unflyable through FPV Last one here is the Chearson CX10WD and to be honest after the first two I did not expect much but first things first here you can see the box again with the QR code links similar to the FQ11 you can actually transport it in the transmitter however charging is done through a regular USB cable it again comes with a nice manual the copter itself looks really nice very similar to the great uh, Chearson uh, CX-10 but taller it's absolutely tiny the angle of the camera is ok looking straight forward but now let's go flying the Chearson managed to absolutely surprise me in a very positive way no freezes and the delay was almost not noticeable I actually managed to fly it nicely using just FPV while sitting inside uh, the cow inside the house on my couch, I could fly it outdoors and take a good distance further before I started noticing any problems in the video feed. As you can see, I flew it FPV in the garden nicely while sitting indoors on the couch. Unfortunately, there was quite a breeze outside, which ultimately brought me down in the bushes. But everything worked great with this one. Until now. I was pretty much disappointed uh, in these small FPV micro toy copters. But the Chearson is the exception here for me. It works great. Ok, so let's conclude. Never forget, these are toy copters. If you already own a radio and a good FPV equipment, this is not for you. Just build yourself a micro FPV copter or get yourself a tiny whoop. It's better. However, if you are looking for a nice toy for a child or even for someone who is new to the hobby, buy him one of the Chearsons for around 35 bucks and you will definitely put a smile on his face. The other two did not work as well for me. Maybe it was due to my phone, due to the app or maybe I was just unlucky. But the Chearson worked great. Hope you liked this video and found it somewhat useful. If you did, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Many thanks for watching and see you next time.